Hey everyone, we're back with another dog food recipe and it's a little different than last time but very similar as well. I want to go over a few things that I haven't really mentioned in my previous videos all that much. I have mentioned that this is just my dog's morning meal. When I'm done with it you'll see what it is. He gets a variety of other things including raw meat and bones at night and other treats and other foods. So this is not just his only meal. If you plan to do home, home cooked meals you do need to make sure to have a well balanced diet so it's not something you just want to do without any education on it or without talking to a vet first. So now that that's out of the way, let me go ahead and just go over a couple things. So I'm going to cook in this beef broth this time. And I wanted to show everyone it's unsalted. I have some kidney beans and some green beans. And again, let's see if we can get focus here. There's no salt added in either one. So you want to make sure that when you're getting anything in a can that there's no salt added. Uh, there's no reason to have salt in there for your dog. It's, it could be bad for them if there's too much. And the amounts can really range. This no salt added one has 10 milligrams of salt, whereas the um, regular ones had like over 300 milligrams, so a huge difference. So today we're going to be using the broth to cook in. We got some red uh, kidney beans and some green beans. We have some ground turkey. We have some chicken livers. These are great. They're really low cost, like less than two bucks. Again, less than two bucks, chicken hearts and gizzards, or gizzards and hearts, same thing. We have some stew meat, and usually I buy meat whenever it's on sale. Uh, usually uncut meat is cheaper, but this cut up already stew meat was on a sale, so I went ahead and got that. This pork was buy one, get one. I used one of these packs in my last recipe, but they were $4.65. I got two for $4.65, so this was like $2.30, $2.50 only for this pack chicken thighs they're cheaper than chicken breast I use both chicken breast thighs other chicken types but these thighs were a great deal we have three pounds here I probably won't use all this I'll probably use about half and freeze half the three pounds of chicken for about six bucks we're gonna add some brown rice at the end we have a sweet potato some carrots and that's about it we're gonna just need a pot you can cook it on a stove in a pot or I'm using just an electric pot I have here because I just like to use that so let's go ahead and get everything cut up and see what we do next. All right, so I've cut everything up and we're ready to put it in the pot here. Now, I forgot to mention one thing. We also have eggs that's going in at the end. So with the broth here, let me get my pot open. The broth here, we're just gonna dump it all in there. And then we're basically just going to throw everything into this pot. So we got the chicken livers. There's some juice in there with them. You don't need to drain them or anything. That bloody juice has got nutrients in it. Got our carrots. Now here we have our pork, our turkey, our chicken, and our sweet potatoes. So we're just gonna go ahead and get those all in there. Pot's pretty full, but we got plenty of space still for our stew meat. And then our gizzards and hearts. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do is just stir this up, get it kind of mixed together, and then we're going to set it on a boil, but more like a simmer. And we're going to simmer it for an hour about. It can be 45 minutes, it can be an hour and a half, it doesn't really matter. So we're going to go ahead and get it simmering, and then we'll come back and check on it a little bit. So the rice, I mean the beans and the green beans, were behind me and I didn't notice them there so we got to have those in too. I did drain most of the liquid out of them but maybe not all of it but they were just hiding behind me and I didn't see them there so we got those in now and I'll stir it up and we'll go from there. Here's the pot all ready to start cooking. See everything nice and mixed up in there and we filled this pot. I don't know how many quarts this is um, but it's a pretty darn big pot. We're gonna go ahead and turn our 
heat up to about 200, which is what water boils at. So we should get to around a simmer and we'll come take a look at it in a little while. All right, so I just turned the heat down so you don't have all the boiling in your face. But as you can see here, if I can get one, carrot just broke in half. Our uh, carrots and our sweet potatoes here are soft and squishing up, so we're done there. All the meat is done. I'm going to turn this back up. It'll start boiling again in a second. And we're going to throw, throw in the eggs and the rice. So the rice is less messy. I'll do that first. And everyone that's seen my videos knows this just helps thicken up the mixture. We have so much water, it's really broth in here, not water. This rice is going to soak that up and it's going to turn it into an easily scoopable mix rather than a big soupy stew. So we're going to put all the rice in. This is brown rice. And we're going to throw in the eggs. And with the eggs, I'm going to get dirty hands that I'm going to have to wash after, but I throw in the shells and all. I said this in my last video. In nature, animals that eat eggs eat the whole shell and everything. They don't just crack it open and eat the inside. So I just go like that and break it up. Some people might want to blend the eggshells or something, but I've fed my dog cracked up eggshells like this for five years now and there's never an issue. So I got five eggs to throw in there quick. I'm just going to get the rest of them in here. And then we're just going to let the rice cook to thicken up that mixture. And that'll take about 20 minutes. And then we're just going to turn this off and let it cool down. And then we'll pack it up and we'll feed some to my dog so you guys can see how they like it. So it's been a little while and my rice this time has not thickened up my mixture as much as last time. And I believe that's because I added in those chicken livers with all the juice and there's just a little bit more liquid in here that I want. It's not as packable as I want. So what I'm gonna do to remedy this is just add a little oatmeal. I'm not at home, so I don't have extra rice, but oatmeal is completely fine for dogs as well. And of course you should use standard plain oatmeal. Now I do have a strawberries and cream oatmeal here, but strawberries are fine for dogs and that's just what I have to use. Um, and we have a big pot, so this is gonna be split up among many meals, it's completely fine. So the oatmeal should go ahead and absorb a lot of this and make it a thicker thing like we want it to be. Uh, it just turned out a little more liquidy this time. So a little tip for you guys, just add some oatmeal or some more rice if it's not quite liquidy enough. So we're just gonna add in the oatmeal, stir it up, and we'll come back and check on it in about 10 minutes. The oatmeal worked and now we have a nice solid meal here and we're gonna go ahead and let it cool because this big pot I found in the past takes like two hours to really cool. So I'm gonna let this cool for a bit, pack it up, we'll take a look at what we got and then go ahead and feed the dogs. This is what we ended up with. Now these are those big Ziploc bags, I believe they're gallon size and this left one's a little bigger than the right as you can see it's a lot thicker. And this is probably going to be at least, like I said, two weeks of food. I might have said that already. Might have said it later in the clips. Um, but probably at least two weeks of food here for our two dogs for breakfast. And we're going to freeze one and put one in the fridge. So when this one runs out in the fridge, we'll take this one out of the freezer. And then we'll just go from there. So any questions, let me know. And uh, that's what we got so far. Let's go ahead and feed the dogs. We got the dogs. Hey! And we got the food. Now I did go ahead and add in a little chicken tender as you see there on both of them. And that's just because we have some chicken tenders in the fridge which were fully cooked Tyson chicken tenders. You just kind of put them in the microwave. And they're getting close to their date so we had like 40 of them or using them as dog treats as well to get rid of them. But we got the food there. Jack you got to sit. I know this floor is slippery for you. I don't know why it's so slippery for you. Prince does fine. Sit. This is sign language for sit. Come on. He knows this. Sit. Good boy. Hey, Prince. You can. Hey, Prince. No, 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 Prince. No. <laughs> you gotta wait till I say the word. So they're obviously both very excited. But you, he's only learned sit and stay since I brought Jack over here. So he's new to this. He's only known it for a couple months tops. Jack's known it forever. I can leave the room, go somewhere else to the other part of the house, come back, and he'll still be sitting there waiting. Prince is still learning, but he's doing pretty good. Okay. Didn't Prince didn't care about the chicken nugget. Oh, there he got it. Jack got the chicken nugget right away. So 
they obviously really like that. They'll finish it up pretty quick here. So as you guys saw, you know, uh, this I, I actually did the math. I calculated my uh, receipt, and everything I cooked here cost about 20 bucks. And I it lasts about two weeks for both these dogs. Uh, so for about for the breakfast meal, not for every meal of the day, but for the breakfast meal, it lasts about two weeks. So um, for about 20 bucks, so Jack's done. For about 20 bucks or every two weeks or 40 bucks a month, that's what we get. You finish that, Jack. All right, whatever. He's almost done anyways. So for about 20 bucks every two weeks, this is what we make them, something similar. And uh, that was the doggies having their food. Any questions, let me know. Happy pet keeping. We'll see y'all later.